In this tutorial, you will learn how to search CINAHL, the Cumulative Index of Nursing and Allied Health Literature. Some students are reluctant to search CINAHL because unlike ProQuest, it's only an index with very little full text. But CINAHL is the most comprehensive database for nursing literature. If you only search ProQuest, you will miss out on over half of the nursing literature, including many of the most important titles. And there is a way in CINAHL to link to full text, and we'll get to that later in this tutorial. To access CINAHL from the library's home page, click on Subject Guides. Then click on Nursing, and choose CINAHL from the list of nursing databases. Remember, if you're off campus, you must log in using your Belmont ID, which is the first part of your Belmont email address and your Belmont email password. If you're not sure of your ID and password, call the reference desk and we can check it for you. Now that we're in CINAHL, let's look at some of the search features. Keep in mind that you will see most of these features in all the databases that you search. You can search by keyword or you can look for CINAHL subject headings you can use the history to combine subject headings and keywords. And you can limit your search with many different options, such as to just peer-reviewed journals, by publication year, or by publication type, and so on. Now let's look at an example research question. Let's say you're looking for current drug therapy for Parkinson's disease. You want research articles from scholarly or peer-reviewed journals published 2003 or later. Let's start by entering the keyword Parkinson's into the search box. Notice that we get 13 results using this keyword. Surely there are more articles on Parkinson's than that. You could try some of these suggested keywords, such as Parkinson. But this time we get over 4,000 results. There's a better way to search, and that's by looking for subject headings. You can browse for the preferred subject heading by entering your keyword. From the list, we see that Parkinson disease is the preferred subject heading, so check the box next to the heading. Then click Search Database in order to search for that subject heading. We still get over 3,000 results, but keep in mind we just searched for Parkinson disease. Let's take a look at the first article to see where our subject heading shows up. Parkinson disease shows up in our subject headings list, so it's more likely the article is focused on Parkinson disease. Now let's go back and look for a heading for drug therapy. Once again, browse for the keyword. Find the appropriate heading from the list and check the box. and search the database for that heading. There are over 1,000 results for drug therapy. Now let's go to our search history and combine the two headings. Your history will list all the searches you've done so far. We want articles with drug therapy and Parkinson's disease as subject headings. Notice that drug therapy is still in the search box from our previous search. So, check the box next to Parkinson disease and add it to the search box. Then, search the database for your two headings. Now, scroll down and you will see that you have 12 results. Let's take a look at one of the articles. 
you'll see that both of your subject headings show up in the record for this article. Let's go back to our result list and evaluate the relevancy of the other 11 articles. You'll find some that are useful and some usually aren't. So you should always try several different searches to make sure you're getting the best articles. I'm going to take out drug therapy but leave the subject heading for Parkinson disease and try looking for articles with either the keyword drugs or medication. This time I get 360 results, but there's another way to limit my results. To the right, click on the Search Options link. Now we can limit our search to articles published between 2003 and 2008. Two articles from peer-reviewed journals only. and to research articles. Click search to apply your limits. And now we have 89 results. When evaluating your results, look at the title of the article and also be sure to consider the publication type, the subject headings, and the abstract. If the article looks relevant, add it to the folder. This will allow you to continue browsing all of the article results, and when you're finished, you can look in your folder at your selected results. Now we can go back to the result list and continue browsing. Look through all of your results. The best results may not be on the first page. I'm going to add a couple more articles to my folder. And when I'm finished, I'm going to click the folder link in the top right corner of the screen. The articles I've selected will appear. If I want, I can select them all. And I can either print or email the records for the articles. Or if I want to find the full text, click on the 360 link. A new window will open. In this case, electronic full text is available, but there's not a direct link to the article. So I'm going to copy the title of the article and then click on the journal link. And once I'm into the other database, I'll paste the article title into the search box. My article appears in the search results, and there's the full text. When I'm finished, I'll just close this window, then close the 360 link window, and then I'm back to my folder in CINAHL. Let's look at number two. In this case, electronic full text is not available, so you'll want to go to step two and search for the journal in the library catalog. We may have it in print or microfiche. In this case, there are no hits, so we don't have this journal in any format. Close the window, and you're back to the result page. Go on to step three to request the article through interlibrary loan. You must log into Iliad using the account you created.
Since you linked from the 360 page, the fields will be populated for you. So just scroll down to the bottom and submit your request. Then close your 360 link window and you're back to your folder. Let's look at number three. In this case, electronic full text is available and there's a direct link to the article. So you should be linked directly to the full text in the other database. In this case, is Science Direct. Just close the window when you're done. And again, close the 360 link window. And you're back to CINAHL, where you could continue searching for more articles. This is a lot to remember, and it does take practice. So don't hesitate to ask questions. You can send us an email, give us a call, or stop by the reference desk.